So, sometimes it happens that you have more than one internet connection. Uh, to simulate this, I have my own uh, home interface. This is called, I call it wired, but you probably uh, got it marked like LAN connection or something like that. And I have a wireless connection to a network that, that's around here. Uh, both connections got uh, 10 megabit uh, uh, download bandwidth. So what I expect Microsoft to have in Windows is the ability to use both uh, um, network cards. So if I'm downloading two files simultaneously, have one file downloaded from the first interface, the other one from the second, and that way I can get all bandwidth. Now this doesn't happen, so if I'll start one download and you'll see that it goes off from the first network interface um, this is one gigabit interface and my internet connection is uh, 10 megabit so 1% here means that I'm fully utilizing uh, my internet connection and if I'll add another in download um, Windows will not try to use the other network interface and it goes off from the first one. Download remains uh, at about 1.2 1, 1 uh, megabyte, so there's no speed increase. What I can do is run my script. Uh, note that this script needs to be run with administrator privileges. So you need to right click, choose run as administrator, and then the script runs. What this script actually does is change uh, network, network card priorities. So right now it doesn't detect any load on my wired interface. Okay. And since there's no load, the traffic will be routed through my main interface. So, if I start a download, you'll see just as before that everything goes to the first interface, but something happens here, and you can see that the script identified that there's more load, and it changed the priority of that network interface. So, future downloads will now be routed to the wireless network. So, if I'll add the other, the other download now, you'll see that it goes off the Wi-Fi, and you'll see that I'm getting more bandwidth, getting more speed from my downloads on JDownloader. Uh, depending on the quality of, of the reception, I can get up to 2 or even 2.4 megabytes per second, which is still about double than what I have before. I can ut fully utilize both network interfaces. So, how does this actually work? Let me stop the download, and then the script reverts its prioritization and then we'll have a look at the property that every IPv4 uh, protocol has and this property is called metric so my main network interface now got uh, one as its metric and the other one, the other network interface, the Wi-Fi it will be set for 25 this is just the value I've chosen. Okay. The important thing is for one to have a lower or higher value than the other. Okay. So 25 is for the Wi-Fi and one is for the wired network. Now, when I start my download, what the script actually does is change the metric attribute for the wired interface. Okay. And now you can see that the network the, the metric that was 1 before is now 50. 50 is higher than 25. 25 is the metric for the Wi-Fi. So, because it's now lower, it will be the one that window will route its request through. So, again, you can create another download. And just as before, you'll see that the wireless connection is now being uh, utilized. Then I'll get more bandwidth in JDownloader. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I assume that you'd like to use this uh, this kind of script on your own system, and uh, I will post the script, of course, on 
on, on the YouTube. Uh, now let, let's have a look at the script itself so I can show you how to uh, adapt it to your own needs. So, wired is the name of my network interface. So you need to change this string to the string you have here on name. Okay, as, as I mentioned before, it will probably be a LAN connection or LAN connection to um, on your computer. Another thing you need to note is the device name. Okay, just take this string and copy it over here to to this uh, attribute. And the two command lines that I'm using for changing the metrics itself also require the name of the network card, and uh, it's wired here and here. So keep in mind that you need to put this value in three places in the script and this value in one place at the beginning and uh, that's it, you're set to go. Another uh, thing that's critical to remember the script needs to be run with administrator privileges so if I'll be running it without such privileges okay, I have a batch file here that I've prepared to, with the command that uh, I'll show you the command that, that I'm using for changing the metric. If I'll be running this command with no administrator privileges, you'll get this kind of error. Like the request operation requires more privileges. Um, if I run the same batch file from here, then you'll see that it works. Okay, and I get an OK. So I hope I hope this uh, clip gives you some kind of added value. It does for me. I did find some tweaks on the web that should should have worked, but they didn't. Some kind of registry settings and other attributes that uh, could be changed, but nothing worked. This script worked, and uh, I will of course share it with you. Thanks for watching.